The following interview was recorded live at Bloodstock 2022. And guess what? They already announced the first batch of 2023 bands featuring headliners Killswitch Engage and Megadeth. Also playing Devil Driver, Fit for an Autopsy, Knocked Loose, Decapitated, Gate Creeper, and more. Go to bloodstock.uk.com and get your tickets now. Hey, you're listening to the Adventure and Pumlet on W4CY. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Avengers Pipe Man W4CY Radio at Bloodstock, and I'm here with... Steel Mage. Nice. So, first let's start with, tell us how you got to Bloodstock. Through the Metal to the Masses in the UK. Nice. In so, Sheffield, specifically. So tell us a story about that. I, I've been hearing a lot of those stories. I love hearing these stories. Yeah, so we have wanted to do Metal to the Masses for a good while now, and obviously because of covid we haven't been able to so this was our first time entering the competition so we just went for it straight away our first heat was in february and uh, it was brilliant honestly it, it was unreal so we we did that we got through to the semis which were in april i believe and then once we'd done the semis obviously we got through to the final and then there was five bands in the final and then there were three guest bands as well so eight bands in total and just one band went through from the final and luckily it was us but it was an awesome experience and yeah definitely one of one of the best times of my life to be fair it was so fun so fun nice so what about being here now how, how does it feel to be here is it like real life or what yeah, being here as an artist, it really is surreal to be fair, because obviously, like, I, me personally, I've been to festivals before, I've been to download a few times, never been to Bloodstock, but to actually be here as an artist, like, and to be playing with like some of like, his favourite like all-time bands, it's like just crazy, it just feels surreal. And for you, ha what happened to your leg? Yeah, this involved like silly drunken antics. <laughs> I knew there was a story. <laughs> Tell us the story. You want the story? I want the story. All right, the story is I was seeing this lass and then I went and met my friends and I'd already been drinking in the day and then I met them, we got some more drink and we went to, we thought it'd be a good idea to go to the park and at the park there's one of these swings and I tried climbing up it as it was like spinning fell from like two and a half meters Ooh Yeah, and then, yeah, broken ankle <laughs> Fun No <Nope>. Fun <laughs> <laughs> So Tell us a little bit about your music for listeners that don't know who you are. Kind of, instead of genre or label, because I hate that shit, describe as an artist what your music's all about. Mm, that's a good question. We don't have anyone really ask us, ask it in that way. Um, yeah, wow. I think, uh, yeah, raw. I would definitely say our music is like raw, energetic, melodic in some sections. It's fast. It's sort of brutal. It's, it's very cool, is what I would say. Nice. <laughs> cool. That is a great, great description. Mm. And I can see, too, by looking at all of you, that that's why I don't want you in a box, because it looks like you blend all kinds of genres. Absolutely. You know, and then you got an athlete over here. <laughs> We're not sure what band he's from. It might be Five Finger Death Punch. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do now? I mean, like. It's kind of like you just won the Super Bowl, like when they say, what are you going to do now? And they say, I'm going to Disney World. Now what are you going to do? Just keep going. Just keep doing what we love doing. We've had, you know, we've had this road here, and now we're finally here. It's, it's been insane to, you know, be here, play it, and everything. And we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, doing what we love, and just have a good time while we're doing it. So here's a great question. How many people, when you had this dream 
of doing music, and then you enter this contest where the naysayers that said, get a real job or some shit like that, and then now you can throw it in their face because you just played Bloodstock. We are, you know, we don't really look, we don't really let it affect us too much. We're, we're quite a, I'd say we're quite good with that. We've had quite a lot of, you know, common hate comments on like social media sites and it's, we've never let it get us down. It is what it is at the end of the day and like, I, I don't know. We're here now and we're having a good time. Everyone else that's come to see us seems to be enjoying it. Don't know if anyone else wants to say that about it. I mean, you know, we actually did switch genres. Uh, we were, you know, I hate obviously to use genres and everything, but uh, this is interesting. We were originally classed as thrash metal, actually. And I'm a thrash our... metal head, so now I'm yeah. pissed at you guys for switching. <laughs> yeah, uh, along with a lot of other people, honestly. But I mean, you know, so far with our, our newest stuff, that's a lot more modern, more hardcore, like. You know the response has been been quite good, and it's nice that you know going from those two sounds, it's been a nice like transition. And everything's been okay, and I think Thomas wants to say this here as well. We still have thrush elements in our music. Yeah, he, he had to save that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you ready for this? You guys will probably. I've been saying it a few times, but you guys will probably freak out because you said you were thrash. I went to the first ever Metallica show and the first ever Slayer show. I do not believe you. Oh. Fucking A, 1981. You know, then, when Metallica and Slayer left LA and deserted us and left us with fucking hair metal, yeah. <laughs> me and my bro, we were like 15 years old or 16, and we would hitchhike up to the Bay Area to go see the real thrash metal with not only them, but who was here at Bloodstock, Exodus, Testament, Let's go. Dark Angel, Possess. It was fucking unreal. Yeah, Testament and Exodus put on such amazing shows. I can't say I'm really into Thrush that much, but after seeing them bands, you know, seeing them live is a different thing. And it's yes, kind sir. of, I know what I'm going to listen to when I get out of here. Yeah, it is, it is a thing of live and experiencing it and just... Giving it a chance. Oh, yeah. What was cool, though, just like you guys, I see all different shirts, you know, thrash metal, the thrash metal bands, none of them sounded the same. They didn't okay. sound like they were the same genre. And that's why I dug about it, too. And it sounds like you guys are the same way, which is why I say don't box artists into a genre. So tell everybody how they can reach out to you on social media, on the web buy your merch you know like what the football jerseys that you sell and yeah yeah so we are on obviously all social media platforms like instagram facebook twitter etc youtube as well that's where you can find our music videos and stuff like that for merchandise you can look on our big cartel which is our merchandise site as well as bank we sell merch on there as well. so basically just type in steel mage wherever you want to find us and we'll be there you know what i'm saying we'll be there nice so, is there anything you want the listeners to know that we haven't covered already? Chapel Falls, bro. <laughs> the, it, so, you know, you heard a little dead air there. That was because one band member was telling the other one what to say, and then he just handed him the mic. <laughs> I was, like, itching to say it. I was like, come on, bro, how's the Chapel Falls? But, yeah, we have, we've had an, a new album out, actually, nice. for about a month now. It's been doing, been doing really well. It's called As the Chapel Falls. I and love that's that. That's our new like debut album, full ten track sort of album that we're doing. It was great experience. It's been a great response from it, and yeah, that's what I'd say. Just check it out. <laughs> so here's what I got from that: you were thrash metal, mm -hmm. and now you're not. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's why you called it As the Chapel Falls because it used to be like haunting the chapel, and now it's As the Chapel Falls. I am not going to disagree with you. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, if you want to imagine it like that, you can do. As the Chapel Falls, as far as I'm concerned, is just a solid name for a debut album. It is. I like it. it it's up for interpretation, you know. So potentially that is the meaning. That's where it should be. In all honesty, the actual songs, the titles and the, the lyrics have way more meaning than the actual album name does. <laughs> hey, you know what? But it's a cool freaking name. That's it. And there that's all that counts. Well, 
thanks a lot for giving us great music. Yeah, and thanks. Yeah. I hope everybody supports you or else they can't listen to my show anymore. And thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Well, thanks very much for having us. Appreciate your time, mate. My pleasure. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man. On W4CY Radio.